Hey folks, Captain Dave here, and what I wanted to do is take a brief moment here. I know, 10, 15 minutes. No, but um, I did a video about, I think it was nine months ago, that you can find on my YouTube channel, and I was describing this reel. This is the Shimano TR100G. It is a level wind. Okay, graphite bodied reel. And um, what I just want to do is the pop, it seemed like the other video was sort of popular because a lot of people uh, made a comment on it. Okay, about these reels. Well, I want to back it up. I'm going to back up the other video. I have had these reels now for nine months to a year, year and a half, a lot of them. I've got like 14 to 16 of them. And they're loaded with a 50-pound braid. I got them put on a, on a light action, medium light action, ugly stick striper rod. You can use whatever flavor you want. It doesn't matter to me. But let me tell you something. These things I broke down to parade rest. I thought I might have needed to the other day. And... What I found was, is I pop the side plate off and I pull out the spool. <laughs> I didn't even have to do that. These things, after nine months to a year of hard usage. I mean, on my fishing reports, you see us pulling in big old jumbo redfish and everything on this rig right here. Yeah, with the medium light ugly stick too. I like to go as light as I possibly can to get the most action out of those fish. I just got back. I'm in the boat right now, and I figured I'd do this video real quick. Just giving her a spray off, getting ready for uh, Saturday. But um, I just got back, and we caught some big reds today. Not huge, huge 20, 30 pounders, but anywhere from you know 29 to 34, 35 inches. And they were on this reel. And when I broke these down, I think I was thinking, oh my. Man, they're going to be all dirty inside, and i got to oil them. Because these reels right here don't have a lot of bearings. There's one bearing in the handle, and there's no bearings on the spool. It's got two bushings. There's a bushing on this side and a bushing on this side. The level winds, I've never had a single one of these, the level wind, ever give out on me. Okay? They're light. They hold a ton of line. And I'm telling you something. I just want to tell Shimano, Shimano, if you're ever listening, keep making these. Don't stop making these reels. You call them the workhorse on your website. They are the workhorse, and you know it. Keep making these. I've got tons of them. I'm almost addicted to how well these reels work. These reels are like my boat, wash and wear. You know, durability, low maintenance, that's the ticket. And for me, that's what these reels are. We just got back from catching these reds today. And uh, the drags are smooth after, you know, almost a year on some of them. Over a year on some of them. Nine months on some others. Because I filled up my collection of 14 to 16 of these real slowly. And I did it on, mostly on eBay. Because in Jacksonville, Florida, you can't find this reel. Okay? You cannot find the Shimano TR100G. People don't stock them. I don't know why. Compared to a Garcia Ambassador, yeah, this reel you're not throwing a 3 8 ounce jig. But you can do pretty much everything else with it. Bottom fish, troll. Uh, to me, they're general purpose reels. They're light enough. They fit on this little ugly stick. And people have an absolute ball with these reels and this rod. Uh, the other reel that I have, just to step it up a notch... <laughs> is that is the TRN or TR 200G. You can see it's a little wider. These I would use for trolling. These I use on a heavier uh, ugly stick if I need to use a lot of lead. Um, if the chances of hooking something that's going to strip off a ton of line. I don't really even need them. Don't need them. I got them, but I don't need them. I don't need a reel this big for fishing the jetties, the Mayport jetties, okay? 
But let me tell you, I mean, there's nothing to go wrong on them. Nothing to go wrong. And that's what I wanted to, I wanted to do a backup video. Now it's been a while. These are the toughest reels I've ever owned. Okay, but I can find these mostly all day long on eBay with free shipping for somewhere between $55 and $65. And I'm telling you, you can't beat that with a stick. You can't beat that with an ugly stick, let me tell you. Um, they don't, they, what you got is a lever, and then you click the lever up, and the reel engages. The only thing that I would say that would ever make this reel just so much better is on the drag if they had a clicker you know as you as you tighten the drag up and you went click 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 you know like on some of my Corrado bait casters that would be fantastic if that if they did that it's not a necessity though silky smooth drags okay I just wanted to talk about it I just wanted to boast about something in today's world that doesn't cost you a fortune that works okay so but my favorite is that little one right there tr 100 g i've got some of these that i've gotten for 30 bucks 35 bucks on ebay <coughs> that are so old it's before they even called them that they'd call them the triton 100 and stuff Okay, they were bait, the older ones that were made in Japan. Nothing's changed. Okay, my older ones that I have that I paid thirty-five dollars for on eBay, compared to the ones that I paid sixty bucks on eBay, they're all the same. They all work great. And that's just what I want to leave you with. So, if you want a durable setup, don't forget to check out the Shimano TR100G. All right, thanks for watching.